Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And with the Season 3 release campaign going on for the next six months, they have decided that every month they will give us a free Raymaru unit. And, you know, it's going to be split between battles and protectors and everything, but the first one, you know, that leads off Season 3 is this Dark Protector Rimuru that came out as the third banner for the original half anniversary back in 2022. So since everyone has them, or since everyone, literally everyone has him now, that's logging in at this point, uh, I figured now would be a good time to do a re-showcase for him and see, you know, how well he can hold up in today's meta, considering he is two years old, essentially. So, if you've never used him and you're like, who the fuck is this Rimuru? He is a defensive style character. So he raises everybody's defense by 50% for two turns, which is significant. He gives everybody a dark attack buff by 15% for two turns, which is not that significant, but eh, not really that important. But the most important part is that he does reset skill costs, which is going to be big time. And, since he is mostly a defensive character, I can only think of one real team that would benefit from a skill reset and a pretty hefty defense buff. And that is, of course, the Vengeance team. So, let's build a Vengeance team, let's see how he does, and, you know, for people that don't have Vengeance Velzar, but do have at least, like, free-to-play Yom, or Shuna, or Raphael, by all means, uh, you know, he might be a decent protector to use with them. But let's test it out. Alright, we're going to go into the EX3 stage of the Earth Tempered Edge. A very defense-focused stage, because they hit very hard and they alt a lot. So we've got Protector Rimuru, who's going to give us a lot of defense. We've got Isis for the, green, for the blue orb convert and the buff. We've got Lumi for a convert and a heal. Raphael for his, you know, godliness. We've got Vengeance Veldora. I couldn't really figure out who I wanted to put in this spot, and you definitely do not need him. Uh, if you have the Vengeance Shuna, she'll work just fine as well. Honestly, this is a giveaway spot, because we have Aaron for our orange convert, so orb change, orb change, orb change, heal, defense, defense, skill reset, so I, you could leave the spot empty for all I fucking care, but it's always good to have someone in a fifth slot. So, uh, yeah, let, let's jump in. Also, we're running... Um, Lumi and Space Milum have skill points turn one, so we're going to start with 42 skill points, which means that we can use the Aaron orb change and the green buff from Isis turn one and really get us moving for, you know, points and protector. Okay, so let's use the green buff here. Now, the fifth slot, like, you very well could put the free-to-play Yom here with, you know, another Vengeance character and he's free-to-play, but since he's not readily available, really... I, I decided not to use him. I used a bunch of units that are available. Raphael and Veldora have been featured on a number of banners lately, so odds are, you know, decent that somebody may have pulled him somewhere. Um, because literally no one can get Yom now, unless you were playing when he originally came out, which is really unfortunate. Okay, counterattacks, also really unfortunate. But because Raph or sorry, not Raphael, Rimuru's defense buff, oh, that's great last for two turns it means that even if we don't have you know perfect rng we do have another turn where we can build gauge back up but here we're working out pretty well so let's go ahead and seal everything on him let's give us some guard let's heal that damage back and then that'll give us enough points after we use the reset with this rimuru to use the air and orb change and then we'll be able to reset all the other skills so let's watch this because you know I haven't watched I haven't seen this in years. <laughs> he he came out at a weird time, right? Because he was the third banner for the half anniversary. He was a protector. So the half anniversary original was Space Veldora, the masked hero, and Space Milm that we're using right now in support slot. Banner two was Carrion, Space Carrion, and then. <laughs> And then they introduced two new four stars, Grucius and Sufia. And then the third banner, they drop, and they were all space characters, right? And then the third banner, they drop a Dark Protector Rimuru and that Dark Single Target Diablo as a third banner in the same meta, which means that they then took the Jubilee and gave it like four stages 
And the boss battles, like, two of them were focused on space characters, and two of them were focused on dark characters. And it was very, very weird, and they've never done that again, thank God. Um, but, you know, hey, we took almost zero damage right there. Awesome. We guarded everything. We have a lot of defense going on because of Rimuru. We don't have to use him again. Uh, we're going to, because I need to use the skill reset. But let's go ahead and change here. We don't need to keep him sealed at all, so we'll just put some more Vengeance on. And then we'll reset with Rimuru again. Uh, okay, well, we don't need to watch it a second time. But then we can use Aaron's Orb change again. So let's turn this off. There we go. And no, it's not as good as Vengeance Velzard because, you know, you would have a lot of extra stacks of Vengeance on these enemies right now because, you know, you'd be getting AoE attacks and multiple hits. But if you don't have her, which it's very possible you don't, literally this Reamer is free. So if you have any units of the Vengeance team, any of them that can apply Vengeance, I mean, you can kill pretty much anything because of the skill reset, because of the defense, it will just make you tankier. Right? We're taking one damage, one damage, 220 on Eren because she's free to play in his lower stats. Look at that. We need to use her orb change again. Tragic. But let's go ahead and reseal them back up because they have all this stuff now. And because we are sending multiple hands, we could do... This is another green. It's a blue. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We'll do this. The green buff from Isis is no longer active. We are using the charm on Rimuru to give us the extra 40% protection gauge increase, so that is certainly something. Uh, turn 4 means that these Vengeance stacks are still not being used yet. They'll be applied uh, after the end of next turn. But let's go ahead and send this. This will lower their physical attack, which definitely helps. So Lumi, the team's not built for damage. The fact that she's type disadvantage and still taking 1 damage really goes to show how tanky this team is with that extra 50% defense buff, and the ceiling, and the guard. And if they can't kill you, and you have vengeance, then you will kill them eventually. It might take a while, but you will kill them. Frostbite. Okay, so now they're going to start taking vengeance stacks. So we can get Eren out of here. She's not really that necessary anymore, and we don't need her orb change here. So we'll bring Isis in, and we will... Oh, actually, we don't have a lot of points, actually. All right, so orb change. Uh, ooh, don't have enough right there. So that is one downside as well, is that we're not getting that massive 250% skill point increase that Velzard gives. So without the Isis buff, we are looking a little low on points, which is kind of unfortunate. So I think what we do is I think... Do we call this a giveaway turn? And just send some blues? We're, I mean, they're still sealed... We still have some element resistance except for Isis, and we're going to get an AoE, but I don't really think it matters. Uh, these two still have their defense buff, right? Yeah, 19, almost 20,000 defense. That's pretty intense. Um, Let's see. We don't have enough points to use them, so that, that, yeah, we're five points off. Okay, well, let's, let's get those points back. So we'll just send these. Isis will take some damage here, probably. Yeah, 4,000. It's not a huge deal. One, one. Awesome. 55k Vengeance. Leon's gonna die next turn, so that is awesome. Let's do this orb change, this orb change. Boom. Boom. Let's reset everything, give Isis the defense now, and then we can at least use the green buff on five greens. And Leon's gonna die after this turn, so we don't need to focus on him anymore. Let's go ahead and send this over here. So, our normal orb damage is not important. Not impactful at all. We just need to get points. And counters? Um, would be good if we had Vengeance Velzard, but we don't. So, we're stuck at 9 stacks because we haven't been able to use any more Vengeance, but Leon's dead, and Velzard will die this turn. So, we're just going to stack up. And, you know, that fifth slot, Veldora, we'll use him now, but he hasn't been doing literally anything this entire time. So let's go ahead and make him somewhat useful. We'll put more stacks of Vengeance on. And uh, we'll, we'll send some orbs for him too. Make him feel needed. Because Velzard's gonna die. So, uh, Rimuru. Yeah, I mean, as long as you have Isis, which she is free and she is available to everybody, 78k Vengeance, and they're dead, this stage hits hard. If you're not prepared with the defense team, you will die to this stage. I will die to the stage if I don't bring a correct team for it. So, I think that's a good test right there. 
But Isis is free in the flashback shop. Aaron is free in the flashback shop right here. And there's a those beginner missions going on where you can get like almost 2 million flashback crystals or something like that. And you can get everything that you need, almost everything, but most importantly, Isis. You can get Isis. You can get uh, Aaron right here. These are massive, massive pickups for green focused teams. If you need free to play converters, it's very, very useful to have them. And if everyone gets free Isis, free Aaron, and free Protector Rimuru, I mean, you, as long as you have a single Vengeance character, you can wreck almost the entire game up to, like, I'd say Inferno stages. You might be a little hard pressed for that. But uh, let's try and find somewhere else that we can put them. Alright, we're gonna go back to, you know, early game stuff. We're gonna go into Conquest Millum, who, for all new players, is going to be the initial, like, difficulty wall. She is not an easy character to defeat, and even longtime players can die to her if they're not properly equipped and they're not ready to kill her in, like, two shots. But for new players, Millum is hard. She's got a lot of pierce and a lot of attack. And so we're going to bring a defense character. You know, the same kind of orb changing we've got. We're bringing free to play Subasa because her orb change is cheaper than Lumi. And Lumi is also wind and I don't want to bring her in a space chain, space team. And then we're going to bring three star Chad Gale Gibson. Because one of his skills is a hefty amount of Pierce resistance. Even at level 9, it, it, you know, it'd be 50 if it was level 10. But I'm not concerned about 2%. But, you know, if you've summoned, you probably have him. So, and again, you can get her, her, and her out of the flashback shop. The only one you can't is Subasa, but I'm only bringing her for an orb change. You can bring anybody else. But the chat is going to be working here. And as long as we can keep resetting his pierce resistance, we can always have that up here. And we're not bringing any vengeance characters now. So we're going to try, keyword try, and just take out this Milum in the traditional way with just damage while attempting to survive. I don't know how well it's going to go, though, so let's find out. Alright, well, I mean, that's not a terrible starting hand. Let's bring the Chad in for Subasa, and we'll just send some orbs here. Um, do we apply the Pierce Resistance now? I think we do, just to make sure that we can tank everything. And we have our orb changers up front now. So, I mean, oh, okay, that's good damage right there. You know, your Chad's not going to look nearly as good as this one, but... All right, so yeah, less damage there. We need to get a little bit extra to get us ready to use this. So hopefully next turn we can do some orb changing, use the green buff. We'll have Rimuru for the extra defense. We still have the pierce resistance on, I think. Yep, okay. Okay, that's a good hand right there. Yeah, she still hurts. She definitely still hurts, but we can now get out of this. So pop, pop. Uh, well, mostly pop. So, points is more important than anything else. Let's get Rimuru active so we can actually hold off a little bit higher. Uh, that also resets the pierce resistance, but we're going to have a turn without that, unfortunately. So, let's do this. Almost another Rimuru protector, but the defense lasts for two turns. Down to 3,000 damage. Okay. I mean, it's going well. No one's died yet, and she's almost down to... You know, a third of HP. Ow. Ow. Isis. Yeah, alright. So there's a protector. Awesome. Um, let's get her out of here. Let's use her orb change because it's been a reset. Let's use the green buff. Cool. And then she has to go. And we're going to take her out before we use the, um, the pierce buff, right? We're going to get the ult. That's going to hurt about a lot. Let's put this on. Let's do the orb change. Uh, that's not really going to do much because she's not critting. But now we have the pierce resistance. We have the extra defense. We're going to hopefully tank this as well as possible. And this is a single target ult from Chad. So, I mean, it'll do okay damage, probably. Gets us another protector. Gets max points. I actually haven't watched this in also years, probably. Grand Blaster. Yep, looks real powerful. 15-9? Uh, it's not terrible for a three-star character. Okay, and she's almost dead. So as long as we can survive this ult, I think we win. Yeah, five turns in. This is gonna hurt. 
but not as much as it could have. We have the defense, we have the pierce resistance, 2,000, 1,500. This is acceptable damage levels. Now again, because you know, if you're a new player, it's not going to look like that for new players that don't have you know a six-star Chad Gale Gibson, all these free-to-play units with their gear pretty much done. But it is an example of you know what can be done with a defense team and the power of skill resets more than anything else. Let's bring Isis back in for Subasa. Uh, we'll reset again. We'll use the orb change and this six hand of or or blues, six hand of greens. What the hell am I talking about? Is going to be enough to take her out. But we'll just we'll we'll take Isis out just in case, <laughs> just in case there's a cheeky counter. I don't I don't want that to happen here. All right. But there we go. We took out Conquest Millum, the early game wall for new players. You know, it works with Vengeance team. It works with a, you know, just a, a defensive sustaining team against a high-powered enemy. As long as you have the other tools necessary, he's not a terrible option for early game players that are having difficulty surviving. So I think it's very nice that they're giving away all these free removes. It, you know, one every month, so it's going to take a little bit. But I think this is a good start. I think it's nice that they're giving away just straight up free characters. But let me know what you guys think. That's it for me. Take it easy. And I'll see you all later.